Hello smart users, Kyle here again. In this video we're going to discuss how to make your Smartboard Interactive whiteboard more accessible to a variety of different users. Accessibility is a very important part of teaching and learning and it's vital that your class is able to interact with the technology and tools inside of your classroom, especially since children learn and grow at different rates. Some tools that you can use with the interactive whiteboard are your finger, uh, the pen tool, a pointer, the Smart Slate Interactive Slate, or a tennis ball. These are just a couple that we're going to go through. To interact with the interactive whiteboard with your finger is pretty simple. You just take your finger and drag it along the board. If you want to write with your finger, take a pen from the pen tray or select the pen tool from the Smart Notebook software and then press your finger back onto the surface and start writing. A lot of your younger students and those with lack of fine motor skills will find writing with their finger easier than using the pen tool. To interact with the whiteboard using the pen tool, pick a pen up from the pen tray and touch the tip to the interactive surface. To interact with the whiteboard using a tennis ball is just as easy as using your finger. Press it to the screen and drag it along like a mouse, or pick up a pen tool and use it to write. For students with limited motor control and physical disabilities, a tennis ball is a fun way to get them involved in the action. If mobility is an issue for your students, you can use the smart slate so that they can interact with the whiteboard from their desk. So let's not forget about the little guys. Smaller children can have a hard time reaching the interactive surface. One of the options that you have here is to mount the board lower on the wall. Another option is the height adjustable wall mount, which allows you to raise the board up for when you want to interact with the surface and lower it down for when the children need access. Or if that's not possible, you can introduce a pointer that they can use to interact with the surface, just as they would with their finger. So I know that this was uh, a few ways that you can increase accessibility in your classroom, but I was hoping that you guys would have a whole bunch more ideas. So why don't you leave those in the comments section below. So that's it for this week. As always, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you like the video and you want to see more of them. If you haven't seen my last two videos, they're here. And class dismissed.